Bonjour, my friends. I'm Frank. Welcome to Club Foodie Tips and Tricks. How many times have you cooked too many potatoes, mashed them, and ended up with leftovers? The problem when reheating mashed potatoes is that they don't have the same creamy texture. Unless you know this little trick on how I do it. <laughs> so my friends, let's get cooking. Here's how I do it. I wet my fingers with water and sprinkle over the mashed potatoes just enough to create some sort of moisture when I reheat them in a microwave. I level the mashed with a fork so it reheats more evenly. Oh, and by the way, I took my mashed potatoes straight out of the fridge. Next, I take some plastic wrap and pull it tightly over the top of the bowl so the steam doesn't escape. That's very important because this is how they'll come back to life. Then I transfer to the microwave on high and set the cook time for one minute. I'll set it for another 60 seconds each time it goes in. When cooking time is up, I remove my bowl of mashed potatoes from the microwave and I peel off the plastic wrap, which at first is not too hot to handle with bare hands. But you'll see, after a couple of times they are reheated, you'll have to be careful when touching it. Then using my fork again, I mash the mashed potatoes, bringing the bottom to the top. Each time I do this step, I'll have to be quick so the potatoes don't have time to cool off during the process. I put the cling film back on top again, making sure it's tight and put my bowl back in the microwave for another minute. I'll repeat the same steps over and over. Take them out, remove the plastic wrap, mash my potatoes with a fork, wrap tightly again with the cling film, and back to the microwave for one minute. Depending on the amount of leftovers, this process can take anywhere from three to 10 minutes or until you end up with a beautiful creamy mashed potato texture. It takes some time and a little effort, but the results will surprise you. As you saw in this video, this little trick will bring your mashed potatoes back to life with the same texture they had when they were freshly made. It takes a little time, but it's so worth it. I hope you enjoyed tips and tricks of the day, and for many more, including recipes, visit clubfoodie.com. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!